We have a new version of KDE which has just been released, version 5.8. This is a long-term support release for the next 18 months. There have been a number of changes, um, but unfortunately there have also been a few regressions. Let's start with the positives, some of the changes. This bug that I suffered some time ago with OpenGL games breaking the window decorations has now been fixed. There have been quite a large number of other bug fixes as well, but uh, they didn't really affect me so I haven't really noticed. We have a new unified theming within Breeze, so it doesn't matter whether you're running a Plasma application or a GTK based application or even a miscellaneous. The theming will now look consistent across all the applications, and fair play it did look pretty good before. So. There are actually a couple of choices on the themes here, so there's a light and a dark theme, I have gone for the dark theming. So if you have a look in the menus, this is a plasma based application. If you go across to something like GIMP, you can see the same sort of thing with the menus. Although why that has a dotted line there I don't know, but uh, I haven't seen any other application like that. With Inkscape, yep, same again, we have a very nice consistent theming. Let's close those applications. LibreOffice. Ah, look, we just spotted a little bug here. This occasionally happens now where I lose the edging on this theme. Let me just close and reopen that. Oops, I've opened LibreOffice Draw instead. Yeah, whatever, close enough. Just wanted to get an idea of what the theming looks like. And across into Firefox. Yeah, same again. Very nice and consistent. There's a new shutdown menu. So now we have the options of going to suspend, reboot, shut down, or log out. Before it just defaulted to one, so I had it default to shutdown, and it's good to see that option of defaulting to shutdown has remained consistent on my system. There's improved support for right-left languages like Arabic and Hebrew. There's improved multi-screen support, but unfortunately that is not a feature I can demonstrate because I only own one monitor. Yeah, I've been thinking about buying another monitor and having two monitors, but I've never got around to it. I'll need a new graphics card and a whole new computer, so the budget just keeps going up and up. I'll have to open a video to demonstrate this next feature, so we'll go for the late Laura Branigan and self-control. So if I right-click on the icon here, I've got the option to pause the song. Let's get it out of the way because it's a little bit bright. So now have the media controls, as well as being able to open recent documents. So it's an alternative of using the application launcher icons, so nice feature to have. Unfortunately, in gaining the media controls, we seem to have lost a feature. If I right click on a browser icon, I no longer have the option to open a private browsing session. With KDE 5.7 and before, it used to have that feature. You'll notice that right-clicking on the application icons brings up a list of previously opened documents. And we also have the option to forget the recent documents as well. I'm going to switch back to my normal choice of the application launcher, so to go to Alternatives and Application Dashboard. And this feature existed in Plasma 5, so I want to open the Discover Software Center. Discover, yes, that's what I'm looking for. Also got the option of recent open documents, but that's a feature that's been around a little while. It's something I really do like in KDE though, it's a very fast and responsive search here in the application launcher. So Discover has a nice new interface, although we seem to have lost a feature again because the applications used to have the application ratings and reviews. And sure enough, when we look at an old picture of Moon Discover, we see application ratings and probably reviews as well. I have to admit, it is quite a nice interface, this, and the way you're searching around and the snappy layout, yeah, that is quite nice. I hate to bring up more negative points here, because honestly, this is a nice progression here. You'll notice all the icons are really low resolution. Yeah, that is really pixelated. Okay, minor point. Uh, just something else I've noticed. Um, I wanted to install Krita. Uh, where is it in the list? Okay, it's not there. Okay, Office? Nope. So am I going mad? Does it not exist anymore? Yes, it does exist. Krita's right there. Why can't I see it in Discover then? It's not like I spent ages searching around for an application that didn't exist. That was the first application I thought of. But okay, l l let's try something else instead. Chromium. Yeah, that's there. 
Inkscape, yes. GIMP, yes. So yeah, looks like lots of applications are there. It just so happened that the Plasma application creator wasn't there. Oh dear. Well, Caden Live is there, so it's not like it's missing all KDE applications. So if I right click and go onto the application dashboard settings, it is now possible to set the meta key or windows key or even super key, whichever you would like to call it. Yeah, it's now possible to set that as just a shortcut on its own. Yeah, it still goes a bit weird, so yeah, you still have to have Alton F1 as the shortcut. But basically, it works now just by pressing one key. Very nice. I used to have to have K super key installed for that functionality, but now I no longer need it. Incidentally, if you do have K super key on your system, you'll need to disable it or remove it when you upgrade to Plasma 5.8 because it interferes with this application shortcut. Continue on the theme of shortcuts, if you go into the system settings, and across the shortcuts, the layout for the shortcuts has now been improved. So if I go across to global shortcuts, so I can navigate around into all these various subcategories. So yeah, media controller. Would I like to change the key shortcut here? Yeah. So choose it and you go to a custom and I can put an input in here. Didn't mean to set a key there. Just wanted to click away from it. That is a nice feature because it is quite confusing navigating your way around the shortcuts. One last thing to point out, the font here on the digital clock is now really small. It's, it's obeyed the KDE general font. So that's size 10, size 10. But if I increase the font size, yes, that increases, but so does everything else. It used to be dependent on the panel size. So I, I don't understand why they've changed it like that. So overall, there have been some nice improvements in Plasma 5.8, but it's a shame to lose some features. Well, thanks for watching. See you all later.